Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Muhammad Abdur Rahman Rana, Assistant Professor, Department of Pharmacology and Therapeutics at the Nakis Medical College, Boyrakulna. My today's topic is source of drug or where do the drugs come from? Firstly, uh, what are the source of drug? There are mainly two types of source of drug. This is natural source and synthetic source. In a natural source, it contains plant source, animal source, human source, microbe source and mineral source. And second is synthetic source or laboratory source. Nowadays, most of the drug are uh, produced in the laboratory. This is the synthetic source. Then what are the in the natural source? In, this is the plant source, human source, animal source, microbe source and mineral source. Firstly, what is plant source? In the plant source, different components of drug is origin from the different parts of plant. We can obtain the drug from the leaves of the specific plant, seeds of the specific plant, barks of the specific plant, root of the specific plant, uh, flower of the specific plant and fruits of the specific plant. From the leaves of the specific plant, we can obtain the atropine, caffeine, cocaine, digoxin and from the seeds of the specific plant, we can obtain castor oil, morphine, strychnine. From the bark of the specific plant, we can obtain the quinidine and cinnamon alkaloids. And from the roots of the specific plant, we can obtain atropine, reserpine. From the uh, flower of the specific plant, we can obtain the rose water from the rose, binblastine from the vinca rosea, and lastly, from the fruits of the specific plant, we can obtain from the colobarbin seeds, we can obtain physostigmine. Then the plant source, uh, we can obtain the various active constituents. In the active constituents, uh, physiochemically, we can obtain alkaloids, glycosides, oils, gums, and mucilous, carbohydrate, tannins, and antibiotics. First, four this is alkaloids, glycosides, gums, and mucilage, and oils are very important. Then, what is alkaloids? Alkaloids uh, means alkali-like substance. This is alkali-like basic nitrogenous compound which is plant in origin, produce salt when combined with acid and physiologically this is active in plant and animal. Alkaloids are bitter in taste, insoluble in water but their salt are freely soluble in water. Alkaloids are the crystalline compound and its name is end with i n e this is morphine atropine quinine reserpine morphine is obtained from the papaver somniferum atropine is obtained from the atropa belladonna plant quinine is obtained from the cinchona alkaloids plant and reserpine is obtained from the rolfia serpentina plant then what is glycoside glycoside are the Organic compound which is formed from the condensation of sugar, this is monosaccharide with the hydroxyl group that contains a second compound which is aglycon that may or may not be the monosaccharide. Then what are the characteristics of glycoside? It is colorless and crystalline compound, they split into sugar and non-sugar part uh, that uh, reaction at acid it breaks after the reaction its nomenclature end in i n this is digoxin digitoxin it is chemically bile acid steroid, steroid hormone compound it is pharmacological activity of the glycoside it resides in the aglycon part when it combined with sugar it modifies the lipid order partition coefficient it is modified the potency and pharmacokinetic properties of the drug in the aglycon can be separated from the sugar when we adding the acid or enzyme. Now what is oil? Oil is the immiscible with water and dissolved readily uh, with the solvent like ether, chloroform and alcohol. There are mainly three types of oil in the medicinal value. The three types are the fixed oil, volatile oil and mineral oil. The, what is fixed oil? Fixed oil are esters of fatty acid and glycerol. Uh, most of them are edible oil. It is uh, the fixed oil are the non-volatile compound. It is lighter than water. Uh, mostly it is uh, insoluble in water but soluble in chloroform and ether. The example of the fixed oil is the mustard oil, coconut oil, olive oil, castor oil. The castor oil uh, is the cathartic compound. It irritates the gastric mucosa and promotes evacuation of the bowel. 
then what is volatile oil volatile oil will be called the essential oil it is uh, also called the flavoring oil it evaporates when exposed to air at room temperature uh, it is uh, odorous compound uh, it obtain from the various parts of the plant the example of the volatile oils are peppermint oil and spearmint oil is the flavoring agent and clove oil or winter green oil and clove oil is used for the uh, relief of toothache and winter green oil is used for the relief of joint pain then what is mineral oil mineral oil is the hydrocarbon by chemical nature and it obtain from the petroleum example of the mineral oil is liquid paraffin liquid paraffin is used as a laxative or lubricating agent then what is gums and mucilage gums and mucilage are the secretory product of plant gums are readily dissolved in water but mucilage are not really dissolved in water it forms in the silly mass gums is the pathological compound or product of the plant and mucilage is the physiological product of the plant mucilage is used for the suspending agent or emulsifying agent for the oil and resin and an adhesive agent suspending agent for the insoluble of the powder in the mixer and gums are used for the emulsifying agent animal source animal source means the drug is obtained from the animal this is also called a biological drug because it is obtained from the living source the example of the animal source are insulin anti tinas toxin anti diphtheria toxin gonadotropin pepsin heparin immunoglobulin insulin is obtained from the pancreas of oxygen and pigs the drug is obtained from the oxygen is called bovine insulin and pigs is called porcine insulin anti tetanus and anti diphtheria toxin uh, obtained from the horse globulin uh, gonadotropin is obtained from the serum of pregnant mare and pepsin is obtained from the uh, stomach of oxen and pigs and heparin is obtained from the intestinal mucus of the porcine or bovine lung and lastly immunoglobulin immunoglobulin is obtained from the pooling of the plasma of the selected donor with the high level of specific antibody example as tetanus immunoglobulin then uh, what are the criteria of the animal source uh, usually it is uh, protein and polypeptide in nature uh, due to protein and polypeptide in nature it should not be given through the oral route it must be given through the parenteral route uh, due to protein and polypeptide in nature if we give it through the oral route uh, it is metabolized in the stomach and git by the proteolytic enzyme and due to protein and polypeptide in nature which uh, have uh, more antigenicity that produce the hypersensitivity reaction due to protein and polypeptide in nature it must be keep in 4 degree celsius temperature otherwise denaturation of the protein molecules occurs those are the criteria of the animal sources then human source uh, the human source uh, those means the drug is obtained from the human the example of the human source are immunoglobulin human uh, menopausal this is post menopausal gonadotropin human chorionic gonadotropin and growth hormone immunoglobulin is obtained from the blood and human post menopausal gonadotropin is obtained from the urine of the post menopausal woman that contains mixture of follicular stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone human chorionic gonadotropin is uh, produced by the placenta and this is purified uh, from the pregnant woman and lastly uh, the Uh, human source is uh, growth hormone the it is obtained from the anterior pituitary gland then uh, microbes microbe source microbe source are mainly the source of uh, antibiotic and enzymes uh, various types of drugs is obtained from the microbes that uh, as for example from the actinomyces we is obtained actinomycin chloramphenicol erythromycin kanamycin neomycin gentamicin streptomycin tetracyclines etc from the aspergillate group of fungi we is obtain penicillin graciofalvin cephalosporin etc and those are the examples of the microbes then minerals the mineral source we can obtain various elementary substances at their salts we used for various purpose for as for example we can use as an elementary substance iron gold iodine sulfur mercury colamel etc iron is used for the uh, treatment of iron deficiency anemia gold is used for the arthritis 
iodine is used for the thyrotoxicosis sulfur is used for the skin disease uh, mercury is, is used for the congestive cardiac failure this is heart failure and there are salts such as antimony salt is used for the kalajar bismuth salt is used for the peptic ulcer disease uh, magnesium sulfate is used for the relief of constipation and control of the eclamptic seizure and magnesium and aluminium salt is used as an antacid preparation for dyspepsia then lastly synthetic source or laboratory source nowadays most of the drug is uh, obtained through the synthetically in the laboratory source um, it is a totally or partially synthesized uh, structural activity relationship means um, when we uh, change the structure of the parent drug in the side chain or the uh, parent molecule we obtain the new drug it produces the more desired action and reduce the adverse effect of the drug and increase the potency of the drug action in the uh, viva one question is asked in variabilities which one is better source of drug action is natural source or synthetic source the answer is uh, the synthetic source is better than the natural source because the advantages of the synthetic source are it is high quality drug it is pure drug and it is the safe drug it is the less expensive drug a large scale of production within a short time can occur and most effective than the natural drugs that's why synthetic source of drug is more better than the natural drug thank you all for watching my today's lecture assalamu alaikum